The search continues for cheaper, more efficient alternatives to corn and other food substances used to make gas additives and biofuel. Some researchers believe the answer to higher fuel prices will come from algae. In her University of Washington lab, Roseanne Catalico has been working with algae for decades. These are, are different organisms uh, that are growing under uh, many different uh, conditions. From single cells to fields of kelp, there are many varieties of algae. Catalico is developing a process to turn certain strains into biofuel. The research is funded in part by the Allied Mines Investment Company, Vice President Eric Rabins. But that whole process can be done, I wouldn't say everywhere, but in many places. Catalico is focusing her research on several types of algae with the greatest potential. Her team grows flasks of algae under carefully controlled conditions to extract the oils or lipids from it. What we're looking for is the needle in the haystack that particular organism that will give us the highest amount of lipids per unit time. The organism will grow really fast and the organism that uh, has the quality of lipids that we want. Algae grows rapidly, does not require farmland, and uses wastewater making it potentially an environmentally friendly alternative to fossil fuels. Instead of drilling in the Arctic, here's where we should put our money. That's my personal uh, opinion. Catalico believes algae-based biofuel will one day be part of the solution to today's energy problems. Paul Sisko, VOA News.